has has uh, remained relatively stable and growing over all of these years. So we that's still what I'm expecting. I actually am sitting here waiting for a TV story or a news story to appear on a cable channel uh, in which a farmer in um, uh, typical farmer gear will be sh- uh, shown with a shotgun that he uses to defend his family at night from the aliens that we all know are causing such problems. So uh, <laughs> that's how I expect a, it to come in, and that's going to be something of a um, cultural shock, I think. And we're, by the way, getting the word shock repeatedly throughout the, the uh, various entities, not only in the markets entity. That's why it was so tedious, actually, to do this last report that got all uh, consumed. Not only was it the larger amount of immediacy data, but once we got through the filtering and got into the market stuff, there were just so many cross-links back to all of the the other entities that it was just really slow going. Every single stair, for instance, had its own door going off in some side area that we had to pursue in order to really know what what that stair was all about. And so it, it became very tedious to do so. And wherever we went, we ran into the shock word, including in the space goat farts, including in the alien wars uh, subset, as though the sheeple will be getting many shocks this year around that language set. Again, the peak on all of this appears to be coincident with the uh, Terra entity uh, causing emotional ramp up in from fall through uh into winter of the northern hemisphere this year okay thank you okay um, this is lua again cliff um mbj johnson from the forum has asked a question here and uh, it's please tell us more about the aliens and whether they're being herded by the powers that be are they already among us or coming soon and her question is, the enemy of my enemy, a friend, are we being studied or invaded? Do you have any ideas about this? <laughs> well, I've got a lot of them. I don't know that any of them are uh, coherent or, <laughs> or cogent. Uh, the data yeah. is um, necessarily reflective of a wide range of opinion. And we even see data archetypes in which the there's a legitimate opinion held, uh, probably cultured over time, that uh, all of this is a bunch of um, woo-woo and hoodoo and, and so on, and not to be taken seriously. Now, on the other end of things, though, there is demonstrable evidence um, in my own life that things ain't right out there. I mean, you know, I've had stuff cut out of me that clearly was not organic. And uh, we had a missing time episode, and we saw a UFO. Now, whether the UFO was, in fact, a giant triangular thing, and we were messed with, with, uh, you know, by a combined military alien hybriding scheme or whatever, um, I don't know. But there's a, there, uh, I do not fit the same kind of pattern as most of the alien abduction kind of scenarios in the sense that I don't have repeated instances of that, but my life experience does not fit within the larger parameters that guide those kind of things. So, for instance, if you go and you look at the abduction scenario, you find a certain set of demographics that apply. Um, and usually the abductions do not occur outside of those demographics when they fit the standard abduction scenario. There are those rare instances of where the guy gets zapped up by a light beam off of his canoe in the middle of the lake, but those are extremely rare, and most of them, in fact, fit this particular pattern of on the road or out of the house, this kind of thing, and the life experiences of those people match a certain, uh, let's just say, generalized sheeple profile that my life experience does not fit, and so it is not a uh, curiosity to me that we only had the one episode. In other words, they might want to look at me once, but I didn't fit within the rest of their parameters, so they wouldn't. There was no reason for them to pursue me beyond that that point. Uh, so I know that the reality of um, manifesting universe in which my body exists also contains within it stuff that is officially denied as being space alien abductions, and I take as literal truth anything the government goes to the trouble of officially denying. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they've, they've therefore qualified my experience, and they're saying they've never officially denied the military is out uh, uh, abducting people and making it look like space aliens, but they have ab- officially denied that abductions have ever taken place. So um, you get to that level of understanding of it. Um, you know, they're out there. 
when are they coming here in terms of when is there going to be an out-and-out disclosure? Who the hell knows? I don't think it's under the control of the powers that be. I think that they're afraid of that as they're uh, afraid of anything else that introduces instability, and that introduces instability at a level that they could not possibly hope to contain or control. Uh, so they're going to fight tooth and nail to prevent it from occurring. Look at the amount of energy they put into ridicule and everything else around the uh, just uh, uh, seeing a space alien fly by, let alone sitting down and having pie with one. So um, it's a. I don't suspect that they will take it easily or kindly, and I think it's occurring now. And if you were to ask yourself, how do you transition a population of what you think may be intelligent beings out of a state of being studied into a uh, eventual cooperative partnership? You'd have to do it gently, you know. If, for instance, we were studying uh, an ant colony and we thought, for instance, that we saw signs of intelligence, before we intruded on those ants, if we were wise-thinking individuals, we would figure out a way to do it so that, you know, uh, we would announce our presence. And... Um, we see examples of that uh, in a lot of the, uh, curiously, in a lot of the cultural traditions. So I, I find it very interesting that the Swahili tradition of uh, somebody visiting another tribe is that they would go and stand, if they're unknown uh, to that tribe, they would go and stand at the what basically you and I would consider to be the personal space expanse of the tribal community. They'd stand at what would be the boundary layer at which the tribe uh, maintained its local environment and wait to be noticed and recognized. Uh, that's also found in the non-tribal but sort of tribal communities of the Scandinavians. Uh, approaching a new group, they would just simply stand there and let themselves, even if it took days, <laughs> let themselves be noticed rather than affront uh, them with their presence and co-opt in uh, themselves into that process. They just allowed nature to take its course. We don't do that anymore because we're time pressed and time is mechanistic and you've got to go as soon as the next time clicks. But an, a space alien group might decide that the best way to do it is to take a couple of centuries and gradually show themselves here, there, and around and let the myth build up and, and do things uh, in a very slow, progressive state. And we may again be close to some level of um, understanding or, or generalized uh, understanding. I had this debate for a while with George Ure and maybe Jay Widener. I don't know if we involved him in it or not, but the discussion was around the idea that I'd had that, oh, well, maybe the data wall that we were going to hit was due to the disclosure, after which anything we did was pre-disclosure and and we were no longer the same group after that and i that would be the best of all outcomes i think is that uh data wall is actually a whole series of the holes are actually a whole series of planned intrusions into our consciousness of other beings and then all of a sudden they come down and say hi y'all mm-hmm. um you know it's interesting to hear your response because uh, it sounds to me like your experience matches mine exactly um, is it like uh, missing time and only one time and that kind of thing? So, and also my life being completely not one of the sheeple, you know? Yeah, and and see, so those kind of things, and yet you find that the specific family groups are repeated. Uh, harassed and yeah, the various members, you know, and the genetics. And then you look at the demographics. I was involved in this giant uh, computer study that the federal government ran in the early 70s when I was looking for work. And I managed this group of people and we coded all of these um, records for the state of Washington and gave them to the feds. I didn't know I was participating in an evil act at the time and I just needed the work. Anyway, so uh, one thing that it taught me, though, was that you can take a uh, collection of attributes and it's very meaningful when that collection of attributes gets as large as possible, and yet you still find those that are outside of that collective. So, um, in so in essence, it reinforces the pattern. The outliers themselves tell you you have an active pattern underway. <clears throat> so, for instance, I've run across other individuals like myself that have had the one-time experience, and they have you know one or two implants, and that's it. Cut them out, and they're never never again. Other people I've run into have had the implants cut out and then new ones put back in. Yeah. <laughs> so they, you know, they were in a cycle there and obviously were under continuing uh, surveillance. Um, I used to think it was because I had big dogs that slept on the bed. 
it discouraged that kind of a deal. But, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm deeply grateful that I'm in the, the not in that category, you know. Yes, um, yes. I have another, on a slightly different subject here, another question from a forum member, Jean C. 1976. She's mm-hmm. asking, um, there have been numerous prison breaks and releases throughout the planet since the global revolution started heating up last January. Um, as a result, do you expect Cousin Alexei to show up soon? And what characteristics would make him stand out to us Terran humans? There will be something in the, let's take the latter part first. Um, okay. There's going to be something in the actual video production quality that will make him stand out. Okay, so it's not going to be that he's bald or that he's got green ears or yellow eyes necessarily. It may be that there are visible energy waves rippling through the video off of him in a visual, in a, in a way that's captured by the video process, the, the tubes themselves or the CCC devices. <coughs> they, <coughs> so our indication was it was a tech, excuse me, a technical capture and otherwise he, he might be relatively unremarkable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the soon business was is very interesting because the assumption was it would be after the solstice and before the equinox this year that that's going to occur, and it may also be that that is <coughs> that that's co- coincident with the um, increasing data holes, uh, and it may it, and it's also interesting that it may be uh, perfectly timed for the powers that be to use as part of the overall um, uh, uh, movement of and distraction of us away from the uh, soon-to-come misery over food, etc., in September, October. And so we don't know yet if they'll attempt to capitalize once it becomes something of a viral um, deal. And personally, I can't wait to see it. I'm, I'm just uh, going to be thrilled. This just could be uh, fantastic. It'll be one of the few... Um, bot hits should it manifest uh, that are worth having because most of them you know are quite depressing <laughs> absolutely yeah. do you need to uh, take a break and get a glass of water uh, I've got some it, it doesn't really help we've got all kinds of activity going on here it's dusty It's and it's reasonably hot um, and I can't get open the window or otherwise we're going to have a lot of diesel fumes from the truck as they move the boat Oh, okay. Um, on a, this is a very different, well, it's maybe the same subject. Um, Elenin, it's something is coming. You, you've talked about, uh, a body coming in that might be intelligently guided. NASA is talking about a comet. Others say it's a dwarf or a, a, a brown dwarf or a planet. Uh, so the reports that you wrote about sounded to me like there might be a large spaceship coming in. Can you some, shed some light on this? Um, is it both of them? Is it nothing? And this uh, was from MBJ Johnson on the forum. Yeah, it's not the, the Elenin is not the, uh, um, uh, object that uh, NASA and the Europeans and the Russians and the Chinese and the Hindus are now tracking uh, coming in because the object that they're aware of and apparently have been for some huge amount of time, maybe 60 years or more, uh, is coming in at 45 degrees to the uh, pole, to the angle of the pole of our solar system. So Elenin is coming in along the ecliptic plane and intermixing with the planets. Uh, its arrival is this year. The larger mass that may indeed be three uh, discrete objects, which is now what appears to be coming out of the Russian literature, and thus three large, uh, you know, um, Colosseum-sized spaceships, um, that won't be here until probably sometime coincidentally in the late 2012, early 2013. The, they're, I don't know if they're self-censoring or what, but there's not a lot of discussion about the arrival date. There is some discussion that suggests that the arrival date is questionable because it, they, the, because of the very reason that they suspect that this object is intelligently controlled, and that is that it is, uh, slowed its apparent, um, movement relative to our solar system. Which is a pretty good indicator that, <laughs> you know, it, it's not your random space junk just gaining speed and whizzing along. It has actually apparently slowed a number of times in the last 60 years. So they can estimate, but if it slows again, that throws off the estimate. So they, they mm-hmm. just don't know when it'll show up here. The Elenin thing is curious because of all of the language that's being, uh, all of the energy that's being put into the language in a deterministic fashion. Uh, 
there's there's two ways that values the emotional values like um duration or intensity or impact or any of these others that we track can show up one is in a uh, deterministic fashion where it's the value has been hyped where you would actually like 